Today I want to talk to you about uh, one of the biggest complaints that I get when uh, I talk to people about chiropractic, going to a chiropractor, and that is that they say that once you go, you have to always go, or you have to go three times a week for life, or you're always constantly, you know, once you get going, you have to keep going forever, and, and that's just not true. That's why I'm standing in front of the sign here in our office says, holding is healing. Now, if you're going to a chiropractor and you have to be adjusted every single time you go, does that really make sense? Think about if you're trying to correct something, you're trying to fix something, um, do you keep always having to fix it. So another question would be, well, what if you went every day? Would you need an adjustment every single day? Some chiropractors would say, well, yeah. Well, what if you went five times a day? Would you need to be adjusted five times every day? What if you went every 30 minutes? Would you always need to be adjusted? So if you're correcting something, then the idea is it ought to start to stay corrected, right? That's what we do at the Upper Cervical Spine Center, is that our job is to correct the problem so the problem starts to stay put. That's why we say holding is healing. So when you come in with us, our objective is really to adjust you as little as possible. We want to get the bones in your body to stay put, not be dependent on us to constantly have to keep putting it back and putting it back and putting it back. So when you come in our office, we have instrumentation. We have a way to determine if you need to be adjusted if you don't. If you do, you'll know that as soon as we do. It's not rocket science. You'll see the instrument we use will tell us. We will basically just run it up your neck and it's going to say your adjustment is holding, which means you need nothing and we send you home. Or it's going to say you've lost your adjustment, which means the bones come back out of alignment and we make a correction. We let you rest a few minutes and then we'll check you again with the same instrument to make sure now that the problem you came in with is no longer there. And so the longer you go not needing to be adjusted, then the more the communication is going on between your brain and your body. Now, that's a good thing, right? So holding is healing because if the communication is transmitted from your brain through the brain stem to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your legs, as long as that mental impulse is traveling through your body, then it's gonna keep you healthy. Now, the problem is, the opposite of that is also true, that if you're not holding, if you're out of adjustment, then the communication is now interfered with. So what that means is you're actually, your health is diminishing. It's not improving, it's actually getting worse. There is no in between, okay? So you're either going up or you're coming down, which means you're either getting, you're either getting healthier or you're getting sicker. There is no in between. So that's why it's important that we come in and we monitor the nerve system and we monitor your body to see if your adjustments are holding. As they hold longer and longer, you go through more and more healing, okay? Now, the, if you go back out of adjustment, you start to come back down. So that's why it's important to have some sort of instrument, some sort of way to determine when you need it, and most importantly, when you don't. Because over-adjusting can also push you back the wrong direction, because if, if the bone's exactly where it should be, and, and somebody was to go and induce a force in there, well, it was some sort of force initially that caused the bone to go out in the first place. A car accident, sports injury, uh, a slip, a fall, something like that. So if you're in adjustment and the bone's where it should be, and somebody was to go in and induce a force, then they could actually knock it back out, which then could create the sick pattern again. Your body could actually get worse. So. Make sure wherever you're going, there is a system, there's a way to determine when you need to be corrected or adjusted and when you do not. And if you're constantly going in and have to be adjusted every single time you come in, I would reevaluate what's going on there because it would seem to me like if you always need to be adjusted, then they're never really getting ahead of the problem, never really actually correcting the cause of the problem so it actually stays put. And if you're not holding, then you're not healing. That's really the bottom line. So uh, visit an upper cervical doctor near you. Let them find a way. All upper cervical doctors use some sort of way to determine when you need to be adjusted, when you don't, when you don't. All upper cervical doctors' objectives are to try to adjust you as little as possible to promote the maximum amount of holding, which produces the maximum amount of healing. So find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, Gastonia, Fort Mill, uh, Belmont, 
uh, anywhere around this Charlotte area, give our office a call. We'd be happy to offer you a free consultation to come in and find out if maybe you have an upper cervical problem. Maybe there's something going on that's preventing your body from healing the way it ought to. Call our office at 704-588-5560. Check out our website at uh, www.uppercervicalspinecenter.com. But whatever you do, make sure you get your head on straight. Get this adjustment holding so that your body can heal. Have a great day.